Hey guys, I'm Valeria Sistrunk. And so Ben, last week, I don't know if you've heard about this, but New Orleans had one of the most destructive storms since Katrina, all right? Wow. So they saw rainfall drop as much as 20 inches of rain in some places. And you know, that was just about 24 hour period, which is insane, okay? Right. But no one's talking about it. Right. Um, actually, honestly, I didn't know about this story. That's the part that freaks me out the most. I had no idea about that this was happening. Um, and when you think about it being happening in, in New Orleans, you see New Orleans is a neglected city. It mm -hmm. reminds me so much of Katrina. It reminds me of how George Bush didn't really pay attention to what was going on. Nobody is paying. Donald Trump has said nothing about this. Mm -hmm. So it does remind me of, 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 of Kanye West, what Kanye West said. Um, listen to this clip of Kanye West. George Bush doesn't care about black people. I mean, that's literally... I'm sorry, that's like my favorite clip on the internet. <laughs> it is. I, every time it comes up, it makes me laugh. Because he said some of the realest stuff that day. Right. George Bush right. did not care about black people, and that's how I feel today. Right. Uh, Donald Trump doesn't care about black like, people or not, New Orleans or poor people. The city was underwater, and we've not heard a single thing. No. I mean, not just Donald Trump, but the media. Who's covered this? Mm -hmm. I haven't heard anyone cover this. And mm -hmm. there was property damage. I mean, look at the extent. Like, look at the screen images yeah. on your screen. It's terrible. And and I mean, this is the worst flood they've had in decades, you know, yeah. since since Katrina. So that that's immediately what people, when they see these clips, that's what comes, comes to mind for me. And it's like, where is the White House? Where's the Trump administration? Why aren't they saying anything about this? Yeah. This is, honestly, personally, this is worse than what George Bush did. did right. Because at least George Bush acknowledged it. Donald Trump hasn't said one thing. Not a thing. About it. Not a thing. And you know what? When you think about it, though, Valeria, you think about the fact that Donald Trump, he can't handle what's happening in D.C. Mm -mm. So it makes sense that he can't handle what's happening in New Orleans because he's barely capable, efficient enough to manage his job as he's president. He's on vacation. Yeah. And honestly, it's important for him to point this out because it's not just a rainfall that happened and it's not just a flood that happened. But actually, you know, it came out that drainage pumpers were not working. Yeah. And, you know, the, the sewage and water board never let the uh, emergency response team know that this city's drainage pumps weren't working at the right. time. That is a big deal. That's something that they should know. And that's also something that reminds me of Katrina, Katrina again. Right. Exactly. Katrina with the levees, right? The flooding from Katrina was a problem, but it was when the levees broke. Mm -hmm. And that's because of the negligence of not just the negligence of the city, but the city being neglected. The mm -hmm. people of the city, mm -hmm. the community there being neglected by leadership from local leadership all the way to the White House. And it's happened yet again. And taking it back to Donald Trump and how he's dropped the ball, I feel like, you know, with all this bad weather, I don't know if you heard about what happened in Miami yeah. with their with They're South flooding. Beach, people were walking on South Beach with the yeah. water up to here, and Donald Trump is still blind to this global warming yeah. crisis that we're going yep. to, and still calling it a hoax. Look at, at your your you know your cities that are yeah. underwater that are dealing with this serious you issues. know weather yeah. issues, and you're still trying to claim that this is all a hoax. It's a hoax. It's in your face. <laughs> it's your president. It's <laughs> that's your president. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. That's all the time we have. I'm Valeria Sistrong. And I'm Benjamin Dixon. And check out content.news for more videos like this.